Some church techs might have trouble getting excited about adding a PTZ camera to their current rig, but Panasonic is out to change that perception with their AWUE 160 PTZ camera. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear from the production director at Rolling Hills Community Church in Franklin, Tennessee. My name is Sean Miller. I'm the central production director for Rolling Hills Community Church in Franklin, Tennessee. Church Online is our second largest campus making video critical. I love to remind our team that more eyes are actually watching video, whether they're in the room watching iMag or at home watching on Apple TV or one of the other streaming services. Video plays a major role in what we do getting the gospel out. Rolling Hills Community Church has been evaluating the Panasonic AWUE160 PTZ camera, which has a one inch 4K sensor. It has a optical low pass filter, which actually significantly reduces moray, especially with those LED walls. It has a much improved autofocus that works great with their auto tracking, as well as all the connectivity you could ever need. So Panasonic was able to send us three cameras. We put one in the back of our room that allowed us to get actually two feeds out of. And then the others we put in, in various angles to get creative shots. Uh, and we moved them around throughout the, the various uh, weeks of testing and playing with this for our services. Over the years, having seen various PTZ models and whatnot, when I first saw the UE160, I was fascinated by the amount of connections and options on the back of the camera including XLR for audio inputs, an SFP for fiber, SDI, HDMI, all the various options for plugging into it, but also to the size. The thing is very form factor to what you're typically seeing in a PTZ, so I would have expected it to be much larger. So I filmed these videos with a Panasonic GH5, which is very popular among YouTubers and vloggers, but also very popular with short films and documentaries due to its cinematic features, like the vlog color space made for cinematic color grading, as well as 120 frames a second in HD. And it's really cool to see Panasonic implement a lot of those cinematic features into a PTZ camera. Uh, the AWUE160 also has 120 frames a second in HD, as well as supports vlog, just in case you want that extra latitude in color grading to get that cinematic look. But there's one feature in the AWUE160 that I haven't seen and would be very useful. I was most surprised by the crop features. So in this 4K camera, in our 1080 universe that we're running in, I'm actually getting multiple outputs from it. So with from one camera, I'm getting a wide shot and more of a, a you know tight shot on our pastor. For benefits of using the crop features like that in our workflow, is fewer cameras. I can put one camera further back in the room and now it's catching multiple, uh, it's the wide, it's the tight, all from a single source, but it comes into the switcher as two separate camera feeds. One struggle that PTZ cameras have always had is movement. It's always made a little bit more sense to actually have someone at the camera if you wanna have shots in your broadcast that are moving, maybe panning across the stage, zooming in or zooming out. You know, they say you don't want your camera movement to distract the audience from what's actually going on. But I think Panasonic might have figured this out. Panasonic's figured out how to make a PTZ broadcast capable in the sense that I can take a live panning shot from this PTZ and it looks like a manned camera. It doesn't have the stutters and the, the stops and the speed up and the slowdowns that have plagued, I felt like, previous PTZ generations. I was just shocked at what the UE160 was capable of with its 20X zoom from 75-ish feet away, able to get a perfectly tight uh, shot on one of our vocalists the color was great, it wasn't grainy. I just couldn't believe that that was from a PTZ. So the Panasonic UE160 has a optical low pass filter, which at first I was like, cool, what's that? But after learning more about what it does, it actually is Panasonic's way of fixing uh, the moray effect uh, you get from LED walls behind your talent, or your pastor, your worship leader. and. It's pretty cool. We were using it even on some LED fixtures that we rented uh, that were on stage that were causing a flicker and you hit that button and it goes away. It's magic. Speaking of smooth organic movement, that's where the controller you're using comes into play. If you don't have enough tension on the joystick, then it's hard to get a nice smooth left to right or up and down. And with the rockers as well, it's hard to get a good zoom in that's smooth and a good zoom out that's smooth and comes to a smooth stop. But that's where the RP150 controller comes in. 
So the RP150 controller is a big upgrade from what I've seen in the past. The fact it has a built-in screen, which was awesome, and can take an SDI input so you can route your, your cameras. We had, you know, the preview of those cameras coming in, and so the operator, you know, has that as well. Um, from the RP150, you're setting your crop sensors. Uh, so, you know, it's here's your 4K image, now you're, you're 1080 and where you want to go in that. And uh, from there, the joystick or the control unit for the pan and zoom and, and tilt is one of the best I've ever used. The sensitivity to it, the ability to, to do a soft, smooth pan uh, was phenomenal. And from the RP150, you can paint, uh, which, you know, do your color correction. We were matching it with our other branded broadcast cameras and it looked great. And all from this little unit. So a big thank you to Panasonic for continuing to change the game and giving us innovative products at a great price, as well as Sean Miller and the whole team over at Rolling Hills Community Church for taking your time, implementing this gear into your system, and giving us your insight. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel, as well as check out churchproduction.com for new articles and insights on everything church production. As always, I'm Marcel Patillo, and I'll see you all in the next one.